coming out here after 30 years, yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm gonna have something because I'm rich in personality, you know, and uh, I'm rich in love, my family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts. Hello everybody out there, welcome to uh, the Banky Pound channel, man, this is gonna be my Thanksgiving meal. Y'all asked me to cook on Thanksgiving, so this is going to be one of these meals that I used to make in prison, Thanksgiving meal, so hopefully y'all enjoy it, hopefully y'all try it at home, probably won't be able to make it as good as me, but that's how right. you try it at home and um, see if you like it. So let's get started, man, we, we press for time here, people got things to do on Thanksgiving, they trying to do their thing, so I'm coming in the kitchen, so I got to... Uh, had to get in where I fit in. So first thing we want to do, uh, well, what I'm making is going to be called like a uh, turkey log. You know, it's Thanksgiving, so we're going to roll with the turkey. That's what we do in there. We use the get turkey. So uh, out here, I'm going to go ahead and only make my own turkey, but we're going to make the dough first, but I'm going to go ahead and start this turkey to cook it so we can roll with that. So we're going to throw this turkey on the stove. We're going to get this cranked up. I know we ain't had no stove in there, but like I said, we already had the turkey and they already cooked for us. So out here, I'm going to make my own, which I have no problem with doing. So we're going to get this turkey cranked up. Y'all doing out there? Y'all ready? Y'all y'all prepared for Thanksgiving? Y'all got everything uh ready, cooked, ready to eat? Y'all doing out there? While that's cooking, we're gonna start this dough with what I'm gonna make here. We use dough in here. In prison, we use use these crackers. And this is what we use to make our dough. I think y'all seen this before. Somewhat when I did this on um, my pizza and my lasagna on the uh, after prison show. Shout out Joe, how you doing, Joe? What's up? You know, it's all love over here, all love and positivity over here. So yeah, so we gonna get this hanging up like this, so we can make this dough. Using these uh, same kind of crackers we had in there. Um, ironically, they're a little cheaper out here than they were in there, which I know it should be the opposite, but you know, that's how they carry you when you're up in there. Man. Everything high price, even though they know you broke. But, you know, that's a whole nother story, a whole nother game. Alright, so. Getting this stuff here going. I'm gonna have a little sizzle back there. So when you use this, man, this is gonna turn into your dough that you need. And um, with what I'm making, this is gonna be the foundation of everything right here. It's gonna be the, the, the base of it, so you don't have to get that right, get it flavored up. Get it done. I gotta boil some water. So, um, go ahead on and do that side as well. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully, all y'all there to watch my video. Um, conversations with convicts, Trayvon Blunt was my first conversation man i think it was a very powerful video i hope all of y'all out there watched it i hope all of y'all out there got some of all of it there's a story in there for everybody man it's something that uh, people need to see people need to understand that this is some of the stuff that go on in the justice system man so this is some stuff that we need to be aware of man, because it could be you it could be your child it could be your nephew it could be your your son be somebody that you care about that that type of stuff can happen to so you know go check it out if you haven't seen it yet it's online right now on uh banky pound channel so go check it out man um, like i said it's a very important story it's, it's about a young man that got 
six life sentences in a hundred and some years at the age of 15. So, uh, some of you might want to watch and get some of your little young people in your family to watch, man, so they can understand what can happen to them out there when they out there running wild and you know, making bad choices. So, y'all go check that out, man. But, uh, a lot of y'all was asking for this cooking video, man, so, uh, this is why I'm doing this. I'm going to show you. We got the green peppers and onions already uh, sliced up and diced up here. We got some jalapenos. You know, it's Thanksgiving, so we got the cranberry sauce. We got my seasoning. This is a secret weapon right here. This is that DC flavor right here, that mumbo sauce. I know y'all don't know nothing about that. Y'all better get it in your life, though. We got the mac and cheese. We got the noodles because, you know, that's a prison favorite. And um, this right here, more so for flavor. We got this. We had to get this off the holiday pack when we ordered this. But it's good cheese and we can use it for that. All this type of cheese right here, we could get more or less out of there. Either we got it through the commissary or we got it out of, uh, you know, somebody bought it out of the kitchen and sold it to us. But all of this stuff right here is going to make a delicious meal, man. It's something that y'all ain't seen before. Something that y'all will probably definitely enjoy if you had a chance to taste it and eat it. But um, we're going to put it together for y'all, man. We're going to put it together for y'all right here. Check on this turkey. channel and um i appreciate all the subscribers man got 14,400. of course we want more so you know go tell a friend go tell somebody to come subscribe share like and all of that other good stuff because we try to get up there with the big boy because the more subscribers we get the more people we get on this positive channel the more people we can reach the more this positivity we can spread and that's what our goal is, man. So uh, let's make it happen, man. Let's make it happen. Let's get out there and um, watch this video and share this video. Subscribe and tell a friend about it so we can, um, we can pump this stuff up, man. So we got it in here. Put a little more heat on this water so we can get to this. But in the meantime, we're going we gonna to start doing these noodles and this mac and cheese so we can get this... Uh, in order as well. Now see this type of mac and cheese we had in there, but I'm mixing it up. I'm using two, two different kinds so we can um we can get a uh, different variety in here. y'all cooking out there for Thanksgiving? Y'all ready? Y'all cooked already? Y'all ready to start eating? Y'all watching any football games? What's going on out there in the world? Talk to me. Talk to me out there. I'm gonna see what's going on. All right, we're we'll gonna get this mac and cheese jumping and get these noodles jumping. We got the flavor. We're gonna put that in there together. We're gonna get that just over here. We're gonna cook this in a second. We're gonna check back on these turkey over here. This chicken. It's cooking. It's simmering. We got too much water in it. Get some of this water out. Get with this 
what we're doing next. She's gonna multitask and throw these, uh, we're gonna throw this macaroni in the microwave with the noodles. We're gonna let that cook. While we work on this. Now normally in here, it has some type of rag or something. So this won't burn your hand. Cause what we got to do is, we got to mix this up. So it's only a little plastic bag, so it's gonna get a little hot. Might have to use, uh, I have to use my good old rope. Shout out to the people who got me these aprons too, man. Shit. Shout out to Jackie and shout out to BB, Veronica Vasquez, for all they love. See my, my chef uh, aprons and stuff? That's all the love that people sent to me. You know, uh, Miss Jackie and uh, Veronica, I appreciate y'all. If y'all ain't got my shirts yet, just to see that, I'm rich in personality. I ain't got a whole lot of money, but I'm rich in personality. Bankology 101. You see my Bankology right there? You see that picture up there? That is actually painted on the wall inside of Greensville Prison. That is an actual picture from the painting that is on the wall in there. So uh, they, uh, they like my... Uh, Senior coordinated leadership so much they actually painted some of my philosophy on the wall. So I'm real grateful and humbled about that. Um, I hope to stay up there forever. Well, not forever, because I hope prison don't be forever. But as long as that prison is in existence, I hope to stay up there because it's some uh, true statement. Like I said, you know, um, do what you got to do now, man, so you can do what you want to do later on. That's just real life, man. A lot of us complain about you know, what we got to do and what we want to do. But, you know, it all starts with what you have to do first before you can get to what you want to do. So I just believe that. That's why that's one of my philosophies. As well as, don't pretend to be who you don't intend to be. And I used to tell them dudes that in prison because they was getting out and they had family and people loving them and they had told them, you know, uh, I changed, this is who I am, this is what I'm going to do. And, you know, then you get out here and you be somebody different, man. And um, just point a lot of people who believe in you and trust that you. So, you know, don't pretend to be who you don't intend to be, man. Be honest with yourself first, and you can be honest with everybody else. So, I think that's good, good words to live by. All right, this right here is going to be the dough. So while this is setting around, getting right. We're going to move on, keep it moving so we can multitask and get some of the stuff out of the way. Always try to clean up your area when you're cooking so you can uh, keep it moving. All right, we'll go check on this turkey. Seems to be browning pretty good. Shout out to my niece, Tori, you know, is uh, shooting my video today. Hopefully she'll grace y'all with her pretty face before this video is over. But um, as y'all know, my son Hollywood Trail is gone to LA. So I got to improvise. And um, right now my niece is my new uh, uh, photographer, video photographer, or whatever you call it, you know? <laughs> she's back there laughing, y'all, but uh, y'all know what I'm trying to say. And she's getting the job done, so you know, y'all, Show us some love in the comments, especially if this, uh, especially if this video come out all right. If she can see me, can you see me? As long as she got anything on point, y'all show us some love, man. Because, uh, you know, she got things to do as well. All right, we're going to season this stuff up. Starting to smell real good up in here. Starting to smell real good up in here. Try to see if y'all can smell it. I don't know if y'all can smell it. Hmm. All right, we're gonna throw these green peppers and onions in here. Y'all know I, you know, 
Somebody remind me. They said, uh, Banky man, you use green, like, green peppers in all your meals. I absolutely do, because I love them. And it makes food taste better. What's wrong with that? Drop them up in there. Look at that stuff there. Simmer. Look at that stuff there. Oh, man. You see that? Ooh, wee. Y'all can smell that stuff? Cooking up in there. That's that turkey. You know, now I ain't got the turkey like y'all got, you know, from Thanksgiving. You know, the real turkey with the turkey legs and all of that. But you got to understand, we didn't have that in there. This is what we had. So, yeah, we're cooking this turkey, like I say, we couldn't have the real turkey. So, they used to bring us turkey. We would get a little turkey from the kitchen, man. And what you have to do is... Everybody who wanted me to cook, you know, a couple of them had to give me some turkey off of their tray because we didn't get a lot. I had to get the turkey from this guy, that guy, that guy, and I had to take and chop it all up like this, mix it all up, season it all up to make this meal that I'm about to make. So that's how we had to do it in there. So fortunately out here, same time, I'm just cooking that turkey right there because I ain't got no real turkey. But that's good enough and it's going to taste delicious. Pure deliciousness. That's all I cook. That's what it's gonna taste like. All right, so now we're back over here. Let me see. Let me get up here and check this. Um, get up here and check these noodles and see what's going on. Time we multitasking. All right, we're gonna throw some of this cheese up in here. And get this stuff all nice and cheesy. Now, I know y'all used to do regular old born Thanksgiving meals. Y'all make every year since your existence on this planet. But when you were uh, in a position like I was in, then you gotta improvise. You know, you gotta do what you got to do. So this is how we ate it there. We made it happen. You know what I'm saying? That's what you got to do. You got to make it happen. So you know, cast the car and say, man, you man, you gonna cook for Thanksgiving? I say no. You know, no, absolutely not. You know, but you was lying up you know, giving it in and end up cooking, you know. End up cooking anyway, man, just cause. So, um, well, I usually always try to keep it down to at least five or six people. Cause I'm telling you, as you can see right now, this is hard labor. You know, this is a lot to do, man, for just a couple of people, you know. See that mac and cheese? Look at that. That ain't nothing. This is what I used to do in there. Get it nice and stir it up and all that and nice and flavorful. And I used to do this then. So a little bit of seasoning back in it. A little bit of this. Cheeses that I would actually have to buy 
from dudes is bringing it out the kitchen. Which was okay. But most of them, you know, we cut a deal or something. All I had to do was cut them in on the meal because you know my motto. If you ain't pitching, it look good. But you ain't gonna know if it tastes good unless you pitched in. So I had to make sure they pitched in, man. So yeah, you see that mac and cheese there? So when you get it all cheesy and stuff like that, then you take, put it back in for a minute, let it melt a little bit more. Now, go to the turkey. This should be about done. Let that simmer. Cook in. Slide that off. We let that cook. All that flavor get in. Then we go to this dough and start getting this dough right. Now what we used to do with this dough is we got to smooth it out. Now what we would usually use, what I would usually use for this right here is a soda. Soda can, which um, we don't drink too many sodas in this house. I got a soda over there, but that's for something else, but it's a bottle soda. But usually what we would do is use a soda can to do what I'm doing right now. Smooth this dough out. It can be done a lot of ways. It's just easier with that can. But we make it work. Y'all know what I say all the time, man. A good carpet is never blame this too. You know, you gotta get the job done, you gotta get the job done. However you got to do it, that's what it takes, that's what you got to do. So right now we can use dough right for what we get ready to create. This uh, good old Thanksgiving meal from on the inside. Show y'all how we eat up in there, you know? You, call, you can smell that stuff. Look at that cheese. See them little strings? Look at that. That's what we talking about right there. Okay, now we cooking with Crisco. We doing it. We in there. Yeah, we in there. <laughs> and he's looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> but this is what we did up in there. This is how it went down. You know, this is how it went down. And I know she don't know what I'm doing neither, but I'm trying to tell y'all, man. Finishing product, woo wee It's like that. I done ate this many Thanksgivings. Many of them. And it was all right. Felt good, you know. Sit back and relax. See, because you know what they're going to give us is <laughs> basically nothing. So you got to take what they give you and do what you do. So make sure you, you know, make the best of your situation where you at. Cause um, that's all you could do. Or you could just sit back and, you know, mope, whine, complain about something you can't do nothing about. You just had to go ahead and make the best of it. You know? So that's what I used to try to do. And this is just one of the things that I did. this dough spread out so I can show y'all exactly where we going with this. Shout out to everybody out there, man, that's been supporting me, that's been rocking with my channel in my little short time in existence. I appreciate y'all. I certainly do every single one of y'all. 14,400 last time I checked, you know. I wanted to be more, but I appreciate the ones I got because it's a blessing, you know. So, shout out to everybody out there support me, everybody out there that's been rocking with me from day one till now. 
We ain't gonna stop. We gonna keep going, pumping this positivity all the way down the line. Whoever don't get on board, they just miss the train. That's all. Ain't no whole lot to that. We gonna make it happen. We good with what we got. We family over here. You heard me? So we all right. We all right. See, now we gonna open this stuff up like this here. Get this a little bit more spread out. to smooth this stuff up out evenly, distribute it all evenly, but it's looking pretty good. Right. Okay, open this up now, all right? First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little seasoning on the stuff. Alright? Gonna put a little seasoning on it. Paying attention out there, cause you try this at home now. Yeah. Can't miss no steps. Cause when you miss a step, miss a little bit of that good deliciousness that's coming up out of here, right? All right, so we get that down there like that, right? And we take this mac and cheese, right? And we put this mac and cheese on here. This, I ain't know. I just judge just from doing it so long about how much I need. And as you can see, hey, I must not have been out too long because I still remember this is just about right, right here. You know, so uh, that's a good thing. Still right on point, man. Look at that there. That's right on time, man. It's exact, exactly what we need. Exactly what we need. So. Still got a few skills. I ain't lost nothing yet. In these eight months I've been out here, I ain't lost nothing. I still got it. Still got my judgment. Now we come over here, right? This good turkey. Let me put this good turkey up in here. Good old turkey up in here, like that there. Mm. See that there? Y'all can't smell this stuff. But man. This stuff here, right, man. Now, see. <laughs> y'all can't, y'all can't see my niece over there. She was wondering what, what the heck I was doing. But now she getting an idea. You see this here? Look at this stuff here. See? This is what we did in there for Thanksgiving. Turkey, mac and cheese, onions, green peppers, you know. It ain't your traditional turkey, but <laughs> that's what's happening here. We're going to put a little jalapenos on there for the people who like a little flavor, you know, like a little kick. Like a little kick in their bite, you know, like a little kick in their bite. We're going to put a whole lot because, you know, jalapenos usually dominate the taste. 
dominate the flavor of food, so you don't put a whole lot. You just mix it up, just give them a little something. So you can get that little spice in there. You know. Get you a little spice in there, not too much. Just spread them out a little bit. Okay. All right, we throw the jalapenos in there. We got the onions, we got the green peppers. Now, put my secret weapon on there. We did not have this in there, but I would make my own sauce. But being in the Maui, I'm gonna use this because this is from DC. It's home of uh, famous Washington Redskins. In case y'all ain't know, yeah, I said Washington Redskins, and in the home of banking. So this is what we gonna use. Just that mambo sauce. Go get some of this in your life. Put that cross there, a little flavor like this. Mm hmm Now get up on that. Get up on, look at that. Get up on, let them people see all that deliciousness right there. You see that? That's amazing. Don't it look good? I know it. But like I told you, if you ain't put in, you ain't gonna taste it. You fold it like that there. Mm. See that? Y'all see where I'm going there? That's why it's called a turkey log. Come back, fold that over like that there. And close that up. So all your ends. Fold it back in over. Get that all nice and sealed in. Fold this in over. Get it all nice and tucked in there. And see this right here in there using, I know it looks small, but trust me, as you saw everything that was in it, it's packed, it's full. This right here will feed about six people, man. I'm telling you, it's, it's get you fuller than what you think it will. You know, so what we do is we shake that, get it right. All the flavors up in there. Fold that over like that. And that's when we use newspaper. It was hard for me to find newspaper out here because, you know, the internet, man, you know, we get newspaper there every day. But, you know, y'all out here in the real world, you know, the internet been took over. So, <laughs> newspaper is almost obsolete out here. So, you know. anyway, but that's what you need some good old newspaper. Get that up in there all nice and right. Slide it over and get it running. Take that newspaper, pull it over. Never blame us too. 